Well, I'm glad they didn't get naked. Come on, big. Why are you wearing your chin? Are you actually going to be able to hear me?
So. Huh. You guys didn't even get to listen to me, bitch. Alright. So, you see me here? Right here? Let me look. Nope, can't see me. Alright, let me check again. Almost, but yeah, hey, so you see where I am? I'm fucking stuck in place. I'm gonna turn you a little bit more. See the chair behind me? Maybe. See the chair behind me? It got stuck in my handle. And then when I moved, it freaking flipped my wheelchair <laughs> switch off. And so now I'm stuck here in place. I got no way to call help. The window is open, which is cool. And Martha is supposed to be here in about a half an hour. I just hope I don't have to start to, I don't have to pee. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. Then my nipples will get hard and my belly will leak. I'm going to turn you back just a little more. All right, let me see if you guys can see. Yeah. All right, so yeah. Freaking, I went to go make this video this morning for quadriplegics. I, uh, yeah, the burning in my legs pisses me off. Spasms do swelling. And instead of taking pills and being all pissy about it, I freaking have a station that I set up. And, you know, I got my broomstick here where I rub my legs and feet with. It takes my swelling out. You know, I made it out of a weed whacker handle. And then I got this blanket here where I got bean bags in it. And, uh, yeah. And then I got my, hold on. One moment, please. I got my Theracane here. And, oh, shit. Just did a reflex thing. But, uh, yeah. Um, I tried to make this movie video. I, uh, before it, I spritzed my plants. So there's a water bottle here on the floor. As I spritzed them, the bottom fell out. And then behind the camera, my my pillow was on the floor. I was going to dump truck it and show you guys how I do that. In the kitchen, there's like a trail of coffee. Because I've been alone a little while. I decided to stay in my chair last night. It's so liberating being a quad, being able to stay in my chair. I go out under the stars and exercise. Sometimes even naked. It's kind of cool. But, uh... Yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff on the floor. It's kind of funny when the nurse comes in. They're like, Crystal, what did you do? I like to say I'm handicapped. Right now, my reach grabber is out of commission. I ran it over and broke it when I was drinking one night. But yeah, in the kitchen, on the floor, the Swiffer is there. Because I use it, I can put it in the handle of the coffee pot and, go, and drag it over for me. And then there's a plate full of pizza on the floor, too. It, uh... <laughs> When I went to get a burger out of the fridge, the pizza fell out. And I can't pick it up with the reach grabber. Not because it's out of commission, because I'm handicapped. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, there's pizza on the floor. A Swiffer. I don't think I left a trail or too much other stuff. <laughs> but yeah, and making the video, I was going to be in the raw. I got coffee creamer on my thigh. I spilled water on my belly when I brushed my teeth. I dropped my toothpaste on my belly, too. And my bangs are pissing me off. So I haven't been a headband. So yeah, now I'm sitting here. I got some cotton mouth going on. It's 20 minutes to 8. I'm really hoping somebody walks by. Because I got two texts from Martha. I'm hoping she's not saying, I'm not coming in. But yeah, even with my wheelchair, I can't even tilt, which sucks. Ugh. So yeah, I'm hoping somebody will walk by and I can holler. The neighbor, Vic, is always walking his dogs about this time. I'm just hoping he doesn't go through the end. Huh. It's a beautiful day, though. I get to check out the lilacs outside. They have this thing I had heard where if you bite your tongue, it makes your mouth salivitate. So we're going to try that, okay? I'll put my tongue back in my mouth. I hate the sound of the ticking of the clock. Oh my god, it drives me nuts.
I'm surprised I didn't bitch when I got stuck. <laughs> Normally I do. I'm taking this time to... Oh, by the way, it did work. It did work. I got squirreled. I'm listening for people while rubbing my rib cage. Yeah, it worked. It worked. So if you ever get cotton mouth or you drink all your coffee and your mouth is sticky, bite your tongue. So yeah, when your mom tells you that you better bite your tongue, be like, Mom, I don't got cotton mouth. And let's see what she says. That's pretty cool. I'm glad that happened. But yeah, you hear the ticking of the clock. You know how many times I want to take my broomstick and like, I started turning a fan on last summer. And I hate the sound of fans. But I hate the sound of the ticking of the clock words. And then the fan, I like, made it better. Made it okay, let's say. Because with me being a freaking smoker, it'll blow all the air around, you know, a little bit better. So I'm not sitting in a cloud of smoke. Now that's just to be interesting if somebody does walk by. I don't have a diaphragm. So in yelling, you see how I'm pushing on my chest grabbers? I think that kind of, I think that kinda of helps. Oh shit. There goes the heat. The heat is on. I'm glad I drank some coffee. Ooh, I'm gonna rub my feet well while I'm sitting here. Wanna see? Oops. I think I might have turned you a little too far. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> well, I'm glad I turned you so you couldn't see me cough. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm rubbing my feet. It's kind of nice. This is soft and padded. Not sure if you hung out long enough to hang out, but we'll see how long it takes for me before I can call for it, before I get help. Well, you can see the clock up there. Yep, it's quarter two now. If Martha comes, because she's, and if the camera holds, it has enough charge. Because it was dead when I woke up at like 5.30 and I threw the battery on charge. Kind of mad I wanted to make the video last night. I feel bad for quadriplegics, you know, the burning in your feet, the swelling. And I've made some pretty cool tools and I've learned some things. I'll well, be paralyzed for 24 years and being a stubborn little bitch this last uh, two years and not hiring just anybody, you know. And uh, so I got to spend a lot of time on my own. Well, I'm going to turn you back. I got to spend a lot of time on my own and I had... I, for a minute there, I was saying, I was thinking to myself that I was lazy, you know, but I look at it different now because, you know, I did take some classes, but I had to drink wine and take Vicodin and smoke weed to go to college, so I'm not super smart, but, you know, I'm a year away from my bachelor's and some of the classes I took, I'm able to, like, learn from myself, you know, but um, in having time to reflect, as they call it, because I got time on my own to actually sit and think. You know, I don't have to rush. I mean, shit, there was times that I was left alone for like 17 hours. And some people are like, oh my god. It's like, yeah, buddy. Once it gets down to two hours before the nurse comes, I'm like, uh. Oh. You know? I mean, I'm excited for them to come. Don't get me wrong. Because they run me down and take good care of me. But there goes my alone time. So, um, there is one person in particular that... I don't mind spending my own time with. He's a pretty nice guy. But, uh, <laughs> uh, he's seen some shit, man. I'm fucking handicapped. I drop shit all the time. I, uh, test my skills. But, no, in reflecting back, um, on, you know, life and shit, I like to say I've been in quadriplegic college. You know, I have learned so many things, like, about myself, you know. I love being a quadriplegic. I could do it for a thousand years. It's kind of fun. You know, a lot of people might be like, what? But yeah, no, I'm I'm not in diapers or anything. You know, I poop on command. My pee hole is pretty cool. For those of you that seen it, you know, my my, my, my trough and off. 
um, stoma, you know, and it's nice. I just pee in a cup. I can pee anywhere, you know. When I was first paralyzed, I had to stick the catheter in my hoo and that sucked because sometimes the nurses would miss the hole, and they would be like, oh, I got to feel. So they got to stick their fingers in my vagina. That was bullshit. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're still looking for help here. And I got to bite my tongue again. You ready? You know, as I was doing that, I was thinking to myself, like, the first place on my tongue that I bit, like, them saliva glands gave me only so much water. So then maybe I had to bite back further. I'm going to say goodbye now before the camera shuts, but I'm still going to babble, okay? <laughs> but, uh, no, I'll let you know. I mean, you, I think you can see the clock. If you can't, it says 10 to. And uh, Lori, she's supposed to be here at 8. She's a lot of times 15 minutes late. We call her Martha, too. You probably heard me say that earlier. Because she's like Martha Stewart. But yeah, for quads, I really wanted to make two videos. You know, I do enjoy my simple life. And, you know, besides not being lazy and being quadriplegic college, I've learned I'm a little selfish. You know, I mean, I have a pretty cool, pretty cool life. I'm simple, you know. I mean, yeah, I do rent a house, but... Knowing myself, I feel rich as shit. You know, I can go out in public and hold my head up and smile. You know, I'm okay with being a quadriplegic. I really am. I was naughty before my accident. And if I wasn't paralyzed, I would have been dead. Yeah, or in prison. Well, then I got a cough and you get to watch this thing. Normally I got a tilt off. Oh, well, that's a rough one. I really hope somebody saves me soon. Come on, God. Yeah, I like to bang on my quadriplegic belly. It's kind of fun. But, uh, not sure where is that. But yeah, as in for Saturday, June 4th, or June 18th, as long as I post this video. It should be fun and interesting. You know? I don't know. I pull some shit out of my ass. I suffer from over-friendliness, so my mouth doesn't shut up when I'm around people. I only had coffee today, you know, and only one cup, and, like, it took me two hours to drink it, so. It's not like I'm fucking, excuse my language, high on caffeine or anything. It's just my personality. I got in trouble for it once when I was five, being too hyper. I was never allowed over to Dana Brinkman's house again. Her mother's like, she is not allowed here. Uh, anyway, we are still waiting. Do, 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 do. I always got music playing in my head. I always do. get some silence for a minute there. I'm observing the world with you, but you don't get to see. There should be children going to school from here. I think I might be being taught a lesson.
It would be cool if I saw my eagle while I sat here. There's an eagle that lives over by um, like Lincoln Wood or something and I see him swooping around from time to time. I'm going to sit forward and do my back a second. Hopefully not get jousted in the face with my broomstick. Oh, I want to tilt so bad. Come on, somebody. Walk by and save my ass. Just my lever. I just need the lever on the back of the chair flipped. And uh, the chair taken off my, my handle in the back. Oh, boy. Hold on, I'm stretching my back again. I like to... Okay, you can see. I like to lean forward and... Take deep breath. Not deep breaths. They say that... Sorry, I had to look. I want to be safe. But they say that if you breathe in through your nose and hold it and then breathe out through your mouth, um, it helps you stretch or whatever. Allows you to stretch more. So being a quad, I've learned that my belly gets hard and my back gets tight from, you know, sitting. And uh, so yeah, when I do this technique, it makes my back into like jello. All right, ready? I'm gonna bite my tongue again while I do it, okay? limber. Alright, now I'm going to do it again. Check this out though. Um, I've learned that being a quad, I only have these chest muscles up here. So when I take a breath, watch, I can only take a little breath. Fuzz, Fuzz will appreciate this because when I got my OWI, the cop was asking me to take a deep breath and blow and I couldn't blow the thing. And I was like, hey, can my buddy uh, push on my belly and make me breathe harder? He wouldn't let us do it. Alright, anyway, so now watch, because like I said, I use my chest muscles up here, and one breath doesn't fill my lungs, you know, but I don't have to take one breath in and then blow it out. I can take like four in, and it'll fill my lungs, so I stretch better. You, If you watch my back pretty close, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. All right, you ready? I just hope I don't biff it while I'm doing this. I don't like to, hold on, I don't like to do this while I'm sitting up straight because I have learned that you can fall out of your chair easy or get stuck and then pushing myself up not having my triceps it's really hard but I got my cheetah race thing here on my belly so it kind of keeps my belly in check so I don't fall for it just so you know you know what's going on in my mind all right ready watch Okay, I gotta start over because I didn't start when I told you. But yeah, if you watch how I'm doing this, this hand is on the outside of this leg and this elbow is against there. So it's kind of keeping me in check where the bean bags are holding my belly so I stay straight up. And then this hand is like over on this leg keeping me like controlled because I got the little bit of tricep in here. But all right, I'm gonna bite my tongue again because I'm getting caught. All right, ready? Watch my breaths. I'm gonna let it all out first with the whistle. Okay, I lied. I got to tell you one more thing. It's not the coffee. I thought I used my hand. I used my forearm to like keep me in check and check. I think.
my belly's a lot more bouncy. And so is my back. It's kind of cool. Alright, God, send me a savior. Knock knocking on Crystal's door. Otherwise, the mailman comes at like 10 o'clock. Hopefully you'll hear me. I'll be like, no, I can't yell. What well, should we practice yelling? It's good for it's good for my lungs. Help! Help! Yeah, that should get some attention raised. Not right a second. But yeah, it's kind of funny. Got another story for you. Um, <laughs> the nurses when they're in the kitchen, you know, if they ask me a question or if I ask them something, and they can't hear me, you know, uh. They get a little bit annoyed, but I tried to explain to them. Oh, shit, I didn't bite my tongue. Hold on. Yep, got a little saliva. That was the third time. No, second time. But no, the nurses, they get annoyed, like having to repeat themselves or me repeating myself. So they, we got a baby monitor, which, you know, me having to repeat myself is good. Because, you know, um, I was told when I got paralyzed that you should um, yell like 20 minutes a day because it'll increase like the strength in your lungs. So like I told them, I was like, you know, make me repeat myself, even if you hear me, you know, it's good for me. And, uh, I had a buddy that was here, and it was kind of fun yelling back and forth with him, you know. We're laughing and just roar, roar, you know. And, uh, but yeah. So, no, we got the baby, we got these baby monitors, and, you know, the ones in here, and then the ones in the kitchen, they can, they can hear me. It kind of sucks, because then they can hear everything, you know. I know there's been a couple times where I hear a nurse, like, bitch in the kitchen. The one time she, uh, was making me tomato soup, and I ate wanted a little more milk and she got all pissy about it she's like um this is getting ridiculous is what she said i heard her saying i'm just like you know now if i was in my chair i will get my own fucking milk but uh yeah so but anyway so these baby monitors you know the one was in here so they could hear me and the other one was in the kitchen well i needed some ghetto surround sound so I switched up the baby monitors and put one in here so I could play the radio in the bathroom and be able to listen to it outside, but also, is if somebody left the window open, but also come in here and listen to it in here because, yeah, yeah, I know you can do this shit on your phone, but it doesn't sound as good, you know? And um, even if you put it in a bowl, dumb, but yeah, so I like, uh, it was pretty nice, you know? But then I had a friend that was sleeping one day, so we unplugged it, and it fucking disappeared. Disappeared. So yeah, I don't know what we did with it. We weren't drinking or anything, but yeah. So my ghetto surround is gone, which is fine, because I have one of these cool speakers behind me. I'll turn you so you can kind of see. You see it? That big tall speaker? Oh. I'm going to turn you a little bit more. Yep. You see this big tall speaker? There's a button on it where you can put the radio on. Or you can hook it up to Bluetooth. So if I want to turn my, Pand my Pandora on, that, yeah, it sinks in. It's pretty cool. So the camera's lasted. It's 8 o'clock. Let's see what happens. Martha, like I said, is 15 minutes late a lot of times. I can't believe the battery on the camera is still going. I know my hips are pretty sore. I'm a little scared to get laid down because Martha's, Martha's um, got some years on her. I won't call her old because I'm just as old as she is. I may be 40, but my bones inside feel like a 90-year-old, so... Put that together. I am Martha too. And I love her so I appreciate what she does for me. But yeah, with my stretches she can only do so many. Which is fine. I got my Theracane to rub my butt. And I got my broomstick for my feet. You know, once we get my legs straight she'll go through my legs. 
Then she got to take a little time with her hands, which is totally awesome, you know. And, uh, yeah, I got some other tools that I devised that I can make up for some of it. But, um, yeah, it's 8 o'clock. I got two text messages. I'm really hoping she's not saying that she can't make it. She's probably texting to see if I need cigarettes. I have that Mario in my head a lot when I'm going to do things, you know. The Mario freaking. I think that's how it goes. I'm on camera though, so. <laughs> I don't have much on the floor today. That's kind of why I'm laughing. I wonder what she's going to think when she comes in the kitchen. And the Swiffer is laying there with the <laughs> with the plate of pizza. She's like, what? She'd probably just pick it up and be like, whatever. Some of the nurses, you know, like, we talk of like a treasure hunt. What the hell did Crystal do while, while she was alone? <laughs> if only you guys could be a fly on my wall all the time. Uh, well... I'm surprised my body's okay with sitting up this long. Technically, you're supposed to do like a pressure lift. You know, that's why I have tilt. Because the way it is. Like, some people um, can like lift their butt. Like, I can't lift my butt off my cushion. So, like, with having tilt, it takes all my weight. And it puts it, puts, um, it on my back and takes it off my butt. But then I got a Rojo cushion, which is kind of cool. You know, it's all full of air. It's a quattro, so there's four sections for your butt and your thighs. And as long as you keep the air real good, um, your butt doesn't get to the metal. And, uh, yeah, feels like you're sitting on air. I put one of them pads down. I one of them, like, disposable pads they give you. And I ain't trying to talk about it anymore. Nope. Um, I could sit on a pillowcase being a woman, you know, or juices, I don't want to get into the cushion. So I put like a pad down or a pillowcase, depending on how long I'm going to be alone. But I have learned pillowcases when they move, they freaking wrinkle under my butt and that kind of sucks. So I got this pad, I use the disposable pads and it actually feels like you're sitting on a cloud, you know, because it's so soft under your, under your butt, you know. As long as you land right on it too, because there's times I land and my lips are spread open and that is the weirdest feeling. I know I had a friend, Dominic, he was telling me that um, he got autonomic dysreflexia. He's a quadriplegic too. And autonomic dysreflexia is our alarm system. But uh, he got it he, when he landed in his chair, when he put himself in his chair, he was actually sitting on one of his nuts and he didn't know it. So yeah, it was autonomic dysreflexia, like freaked out and yeah, he learned a freaking lesson that day. You're going to have a seizure stroke or die from autonomic dysreflexia. Just from sitting on your fucking nut. <laughs> I feel naked. I don't have a nose ring in to play with. My friend put a hoop in the other day. He's the only one I can put a hoop in. And, uh, yeah. It only lasted a day. It was pretty cool. I even had him squeeze it. Oh, Martha. Oh, Martha. I'm banking on her. Right? We're banking on her. What got my Theracane with? Gotta bite my tongue again. I'm gonna use my Theracane to dig into my muscle. Because from my neck down into my shoulder... It's pretty bad. It's pretty tight. But the Theracane, you can push it in to tight muscles. And if you hold it there for, you know, a good, like, 20 seconds, it really loosens it up. All right, so I'm going to bite my tongue. And, uh, hold on, i got to move the broomstick. I'm going to bite my tongue and loosen my muscles at the same time. Ready to multitask. While I'm watching outside to maybe look for help.
just checking to see if the camera is still working. And yes, I did get a little bit of saliva. God bless any of you that actually hung in there to watch the video. Because, yeah, I, I laughed to myself when this shit happened. I'm like, seriously? I've never got stuck for, like, hours on end, like they say in that one Lifeline video. But earlier, I was thinking to myself that I should have grabbed my Lifeline. Because I felt like I was going to maybe fall out of my trailer, too. And then as I'm doing what I was doing, I think I was stretching my feet or something. All I could think was, I should have listened to myself. I should have listened to myself. But now it's like four hours later, and I'm stuck in the spot. I don't have my lifeline. I think it's hanging on my bed. And I'm saying to myself, should have grabbed your lifeline. So anybody that's watching this video, I need to put some people on my lifeline. Uh, I got other people that I should put on there. I just haven't added them yet. Because I'm a little lazy and I'm a little stubborn. I always have my phone on me. And I think to myself, you know, I guess it's a little bit of egocentrism. That I'm really good. My skills. I know my skills. But no, so after this today, I will make sure to have my lifeline on me all the time. We'll see how many accidents, accidentally times that I push it. I know my little brother was up one time, and he was 21, and uh, he crawled in my bed, and I had it hanging from my trapeze. And he's like, oh, what does this button do? And he pushes it, and all of a sudden it says, help call in progress. Please wait. But yeah, that um, my lifeline, too, it's got a GPS on it. So, like, if I ever get stuck somewhere, it can help me. So as I'm telling you this, I'm thinking to myself that I should... Have it all the time. I'm going to do it. It will be my new accessory. I'd rather have like something that like attaches to my belt or something. We'll see what happens. I will be carrying it on me all at all times from now on. Probably right in my hoo-ha. Hopefully it's waterproof. Probably put a bag around it, you know. Probably should. I'm kind of dangerous. Or as I call myself, a bad quadriplegic. <laughs> it's just the way it is. You know, my hands, all I have is my tenodesis. And, you know, like, check it out. Like, I can't squeeze this. I can't squeeze it and pick it up. Isn't that crazy? But I can grab it like this. The knob helps me a lot. But yeah, I can grab it like this and pick it up. You know? I got my fingers, you see how they are? They're not stuck like that, you know what I mean? I stretch them. Alright, we got ten after eight. How long do you think? Ooh. But yeah, hold on, I gotta sit up. Oh, this is feel good. You know, they give you braces when you first get paralyzed, but... I'll smack myself in the face with them. I got rid of them 24 years ago, 20, 23 years ago and 8 months. Oh, does it feel bad? But yeah. So, we're going to stretch a little bit more. Maybe bullshit, we'll see. My freaking tongue is sticky. <laughs> oh, does this feel good? I'm probably going to end up with a bunch of red marks. Went to go get my naked juice this morning, and I'm out of little bottles. All I got is the big one up in the um, refrigerator. And my skills are pretty good. And even if they're not, they're still pretty good. But that ba that bottle of naked juice was way too full for me to for me to test my skills. That would have hurt if it fell on my feet or something. But if it would have got on the floor, I could have got that shit. But falling from the shelf that it's on to the floor, I wouldn't have been able to because it probably would have broken everywhere. But if it was the big juice.